Hello, oh, welcome back. It's Fox Man. Today, and I'm with Foxy, my brother Cerberus, and we just got out of Jumanji. Jumanji. Welcome, welcome to, to the, the jungle. jungle. We have fun and games. Yeah, we just got out of the new um, The Rock, Jack Black, Chris Rock, and Beautiful Woman Woman yeah. movie. I forgot what the fuck her name is. I forgot. She's, She's beautiful she was though. Gorgeous. Yeah. Um, I liked it. I did. I liked it too. And it, and this really, I like the yeah. twist to it. You know, the, like, like there's the revamp a revamp or. Well, yeah, it's like a revamp. Even though they, it, even though it it hits, again we like. I think this is a fun adventure movie, kid movie, adventure movie. Whatnot. Yeah, definitely can take your. Well, there's some cursing, but not really yeah, all that like, much. I was surprised how many kids were in the theater with us. Like, oh no, part, yeah, there was a lot of kids. There's a part where like that you heard all the kids laugh at some like dumb joke about something. Like, bro, I think like Jack Black. Yeah, the girl, was, because the Jack, the Jack Black's actually a girl in a guy's body, and she's trying to figure out how to pee. Yeah, I think that was that. And then there's this one part where like Jack Black gets like a boner, and I heard behind us the little kid is like, "What's going on?" Ah. And the mom was saying, "Oh, his stomach is getting bigger." And I just like that's why I was laughing because I heard that like from I didn't there. hear that. <laughs> yeah, but um, oh, well, there's some stuff there for the adults too. Yeah, but um, yeah, the movie, the movie's fun. Like one, like. It has, of course, like some. It, it fits like a sequel, as in like, it's supposed to be a sequel slash reboot for a new generation I kind think of. It like a sequel. You know, it does feel like a sequel, but, but like, like you don't get nothing from the first movie. But there are like little. There are some bits like the first. There's some similar beats like the first movie. Like if the movie starts off like a 20 years before the actual movie starts, mm -hmm. and then like a, a kid gets sucked into the game. But mind you, I love how this works. Like the he, find, it, I guess his dad finds the board game. Says, "Here's a cool board game." The kid's like, "Who plays board games anymore?" Yeah, it's like 1990. Like, 96. Or I'm like, dude, like everyone plays board games in 1996. Yeah. Video games aren't that big that yet. Um. So the kid, but the the kids starts playing a video game on like his. I don't even know what Coleco. It was. I don't. When there were like cassettes, and you just kind of stuck them in the console. Yeah, but it wasn't. It wasn't like. A it wasn't like a Nintendo no, it was like it's or Sega or something. Probably. You know, but it was just like that old school game. Yeah, and like, like you the game noticed this and it's like light the game's like light bulb uh -huh. <laughs> and, and and spawns and like basically makes the inside of the the Jumanji board turns that into a game cartridge. Yep. And the kid's like, huh. I've no nothing weird. Asked. No, we be weird about this. Yeah, Pl well, just, plugs. I just put this right in here. But yeah, plugs it into his game console, and then just immediately teleports into the game. Mm -hmm. Then cut to twenty years later, which I guess is twenty sixteen. Maybe. I think this movie was supposed to come out last year. Because like it, the the PlayStation, the phones they had, you know, like. Yeah, but then also had the Last Guardian, which I think came out. This year, or last year. You don't year. know how long he might have had that poster. Like he might have well, had that when that well, game came out. Well, the Last Guardian's new. Oh. It's a very recent game. But um. Then why wouldn't it be this? I don't know. But uh, but uh, so basically, you meet each of the kids. Each of them have like their own kind of quirk. There's the nerdy Jewish kid. <laughs> Why are you call him Jewish? Because he's Jew. You didn't get that all the times. The Rock goes Oy vey, or he goes like, he's like Mahayim. He said something to it in the in the. When when Kevin Hart blew up, remember he was like, I think he said "Oy vey," right? Yeah, he says something like that. It's like, oh Jesus, you're, yeah, you're you're like, laying the Jewish on there pretty goddamn thick. <laughs> but um, each of them has their own thing. Um, the main kid who's become who becomes a rock, he's uh, nervous around girls. He likes this one girl but can't tell her. Um, you have the jock, who. Who kind of who kind of like just pushes his friends away after he becomes popular? He just pushed that one kid away. Well, that was his one friend, I guess. Um, you have the I'm pretty sure he had more. The quote unquote millennial, well, actual friend. Well, then again, for all we know, no, he didn't, because we didn't see any other friends other than that one girl who never appears again in the movie. Um, there's the quote the the stereotypical millennial girl. Who's always Snapchatting, always on her phone, taking a lot of selfies, the self-absorbed girl. She and was very pretty. I she, believe she was the age she was supposed to be. You know? Probably. And then um Like the kids, 
the kids kind of fit the age that they're supposed to be. But I'll tell you what, that one kid looked older than that that girl. The Jewish kid? Yeah, like he looked older than that girl that he was like, you know. Yeah, ma- yeah. I but I don't know. They looked. I, they looked kind of the Maybe right just age. Just because he was taller. Than him. Maybe because he's a lanky dude. And then um, you have was it? Then you have the girl who's kind of an outsider who basically doesn't like anyone. Kind I thought of. she was like the new girl in school. Yeah. But apparently they people. Have no, it's her. It's a small town, and everyone's like we know friends since seventh grade, but then somehow split up. Yeah, something around that. Yeah. But basically, they all, they all get sent to detention yeah. for whatever reason. Um, one girl's on her phone while talking. Another one said that she didn't want to stay, be, be a gym teacher when she grew up. Yeah. To the I gym think teacher. Was kind of harsh. Like, yeah, that was a little hard. Like, I'm yeah, like, it was fucked up to say like you don't want to be a gym teacher to I a gym want, teacher, but yeah, but that is kind of like. I don't think that was intentional. Yeah, I don't think so either. Like a, maybe she a thought, verbal warning, like if you say something like that again, you're gonna get detention. Yeah, and then she could be like, oh, detention. Yeah, then that would probably have been more. Yeah. And then um, the kid, uh, the main guy who becomes the rock, gets in trouble because he's um, he helped that he he, re- he, he wrote the paper the for the jock. Yeah, yeah. supposedly because they're friends, but yeah, but um, so they then get. They of course go to the detention room. How this do you was, write the same paper? That's how they got busted. Like uh, he literally wrote the same yeah, paper. Well, he used the same. He didn't use the same paper. Like it's like Not she the said, same paper, she used he used similar points and metaphors to do it, and that's what screwed it over. Which I'm gonna say, yeah. If I have to write someone else's, well, that have to. But if I'm gonna do something done like that, I'm probably gonna have like if I'm not getting paid for it, I'm gonna just do like okay, here's this, this, and this done. Yeah. And that's basically what he did. Um, but basically they get sucked into the game, which basically kind of like Alan did, which there's a reference to Alan uh-huh. in this, which I liked. Yep. Um, there's a lot of references. One of the kids, his name is Alan. Well, yeah, like the main kid. No, not, not the, the kids, the, yeah. but like there's a kid that they mentioned. Oh, okay. And his name is Alan. Actually, for all we know, we probably missed like a couple of them. Actually, it would have been kind of cool if the principal... I don't know how old. Eh, I think he'd probably be old enough if the principal was actually the kid from the first movie. You mean Alan? No, not Alan. The other one. Oh, like the kid. The kid. Kid. Who was in the kid? Yeah. Yeah. It would have been kind of cool if that was if that was um if he was the principal or something. It wouldn't have surprised me. I don't even think if it's it's the same town. I don't think it is either cause like, because the, like it washed they threw, up on the beach. Yeah, that's true too. And then like remember at the end of, of Jumanji, they're back in like the 1600s or whatever, and it get, they threw it and it ends up on a beach. So I I think this isn't a continuation. Ending of 1600. Okay, do you remember the first Jumanji? Yeah, they didn't end up in 1600s. Whatever, I said in the 60s. 60s, okay. You know? 60s? What, whatever. <laughs> But you know, it was like how they did that that Alex kid. Yeah, he went back to nineteen ninety. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Lived out his life. Which I like that this one kind of does the similar thing, mm-hmm. which but instead of it being like they wipe the memories of everyone, it is more. It is like okay, the the kid who got set was from nineteen ninety six. Yeah, because the first back. one was kind of dark. Like remember, like the yeah, the, the kids the remember. Kids, the kids forget. I know, but the kids' parents were dead. That's why they lived yeah. with their aunt. Yeah. And then Alan's parents killed themselves or something because he was gone. His dad or something killed himself. I, I, I don't like, think they killed the first himself. Was very dark. Or he got bankrupt. Something bad happened to his yeah, family. Yeah, then they die. Yeah. Yeah. You know. So like this one was was kind of more like this one was more more like fun and adventure. Even though I'll say like I kind of liked The Rock playing this character because like if you watch a lot of The Rock's movies, he does kind of play a similar character each and every time. I think he was making fun of himself. Oh, no, no. I feel like the guy who wrote this script either is in love with The Rock or whatever, because there's a lot of it. like, look at this. Look at his body. Why does my voice sound like this? I'm amazing. I can run so fast. I'm like, Jesus, this guy has a hard on for The Rock. Yeah. And then the movie was was kind of like a video game. Like, no, yeah. Levels. It, well, uh, it was like I'll say this did better this did a better video game video game kind of movie than a video game no movie. than um Spy Kids 3 Spy Kids 3 was a video game movie remember it was Spy Kids 3D they get sucked into oh, the video yeah. game they have like it basically pl- it's basically calling player 1 but dumbed down I think a little bit but um but yeah and the thing is in this movie 
And again, in video game movies, you kind of, if you have like lives, you can kind of get where something's gonna happen. Like, okay, they have two lives left, so they're fine. So some tension is kind of pushed away, but they at least use that to their advantage for like comedic effects. Like again, like, oh, uh, Kevin Hart hasn't lost that life yet. He's gonna eat cake and blow up. Yeah, because they all lose a life somehow. Yeah, they lose life as they like slowly go Jack down. Jack Black gets eaten by a hippo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the uh, chick, why am I the chick that she loses a life? Uh, shh. C no, yeah, she has She has the most she life had throughout the most all life. of it. That's why she died. Yeah, she, she died. Had her yeah, th and that, that's a good thing because I totally forgot that she, she had. Um, like, Because, like, towards the end of it, there is a kind of thing where she has to die to then come back. And when she died, I'm like, wait, how many lives does she have? Oh, right, she still has two lives left. Because she never died. Yeah, everyone, yeah, she was the only one. She had two lives in the end. She was like... She only man. died once, which I'm trying to remember what, how she died. She was real... She got bit by the snake. No, she had, She died before that, too. She did? Yeah, she... I don't think so. Yeah, she died... She, she died th twice. She died by the snake. Then that one with the... And then oh, okay. she got shot. That's right, she got shot. That's right. She got shot in the chest. She's like, I was hit, guys. And then she just explodes in the blood. I'm like, oh my god. Like, when they die, like, like they... when she got bit, I was like, oh. Yeah, I was like, Because oh. I thought she had one more life left. Yeah, no, but that was everyone else. We kind of, like, just skipped the whole... But yeah, yeah, we kind of did. But, yeah, like, they use it to their advantage. If they have more lives, they use it for comedic effect or kind of character building. Like, uh, also, I love the part where, like, um, the Rock and like his best friend Kevin Hart, they're like, um, like Kevin, like he's like Kevin Hart's like, I will beat you, and the kid looks at himself like, try it. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, yeah, <laughs> I want to see this fight. <laughs> he will, he will knock his head off. <laughs> I, liked I liked it was funny. Like again, like they use it for comedic effect. They use their deaths. Or like their lives in certain ways, like um, the kid who came back from the night from 1996 or whatever, he dies by a mosquito bite because that's his weakness, and he slowly dies. But um, Jack Black's character uh, does mouth to mouth and gives one of her lives or his lives to Jet to the kid, yeah. and, br and br gives him another life. I'm like, okay, that's kind of a cool way to use that. It's not like okay. We just wait for him to die, and then we I see nothing. I thought they were going to like do something like, like Kevin Hart or The Rock was going to be like, there's like a health kit or something. Oh, no, yeah. I was reading the entire movie. Like, like, like The Rock said, like, when like the game said, like, I bread, I bread. Like, I think the game's trying to tell us to keep our strength up. I thought when, like, they ate bread or something or they'll ate gain food, another they'll health. gain health. Yeah, like, this is a cruddy game. There are no power-ups, yeah. and there's no health gaining back. Which I guess makes the risk of the game more challenging. Yeah. But even though I will say, like, in like, let's say this was a 2D Atari game, which mind you, this a 2D Atari game had a loading screen. No, these games did not have loading We're screens. Like, yeah, this one did. It was like <laughs> these games. I played Sega Genesis. No, <laughs> the Sega Genesis was my first console. I don't know what your first was. It Nintendo Entertainment or was it the it, first console I ever played was a Nintendo. Okay, yours was Nintendo. Mine was Sega. Duck. Yeah. Um. I probably still have that. I probably still have that somewhere. But um, yeah, like Sega. You play Sonic the Hedgehog. You press start immediately. Green Hill Zone. There was no goddamn loading screen. Yeah, that's true. I'm like, that is the that is the part of this movie I cannot. I do not believe I don't in. Believe that is the only part I do not believe in. This these, <coughs> these were plug and play games. Everything else, like, if something dumb happens in the movie, I'm like, okay, game logic. Like, the aviator guy pulling out his sunglasses out of nowhere. I'm like, and you guys are like, where do you get those sunglasses? I'm like, game logic. Oh. The bad guy was, was pretty okay, too. The bad guy was pretty good. I wish we kind of gotten more scenes with him. Yeah. Because, uh, like, he was but, like, kind he of... controlled, like, all the animals. Yeah, like, you saw, like, animal like bugs like crawling along his face yeah, which like it'll go inside his ear the bad guy in the first one was the hunter yeah and also again like i like um the pilot guy he's from again 1996 but he thinks he's only been here for a couple of months and he's been living at this open tree house which one for a couple of months and you're for leaders the mosquitoes you probably should build a better house yeah. but like he's there he's like i'm living here from like the last guy who lived here named alan kramer was here i'm like oh that's freaking 
you brought him, like, oh, that's freaking cool. So, I mean, you're like, who's at? And I was like, because I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking of, God damn it. I forgot his name, bro. Robin Williams? Robin Williams, yeah. Robin Williams, yeah. Like, Robin Williams. Robin, Robin, no, Robin Williams is the only kind of actor that, like, I remember the actual actor's name over his character. Everyone else, I remember. Yo, Silver Punch Buggy. Everyone else, I remember. You didn't see it? Went that way. Um, I saw the so Silver Punch Buggy. Right? <laughs> I. Like, Ron Williams the only guy, I'm like, I, okay, that's Ron Williams. Um, but yeah, this was, it was pretty cool seeing seeing stuff like that. Um, again, it hits similar beats. Again, you have the kid, the kid from the past who gets sucked into the game is stuck in the game. I like that they're basically saying that this is the world that Alan was stuck in. Yeah, you, like, I can believe it. Like, there was I, I can. I can kind of believe but, it. But, like, I just kind of question, if there was villages and stuff, why did he just stay in the jungle? Maybe because he only had three lives. Ma no, because that game was different. Even though I do like when they go to the giant jaguar that you see in like the posters or whatever, mm -hmm. like there's those giant statues that were the game pieces. I'm like, okay, that's kind of clever. Um, and I think you saw all the game pieces. You saw an elephant. I didn't think we saw monkeys. I I, I think, think it might have been in the background with like the moss. You saw the crocodiles. That's true. An elephant. That's true. Yeah. Moss. Um. There was no goddamn moves. There was no moves. Um, fudge, what else was there? Uh, I do like, there was, you know, I kind of wish there was like, um, kind of in the first Jumanji, there was the cheating. How the kid cheated and mm. the game retaliated and made him a monkey. I kind of wish there was kind of something like that. Like, maybe like one of them tried like up, up, down, like, like step forward, step back, like to do a code or something. Like one, that would have been a cool little video game reference. But also then like, it would have been like, no! <laughs> you put, like just immediately makes them explode or something. <laughs> also, I do like um when they die, they come up from the sky. Yeah. Which I was thinking, okay, why don't you just have it to where they pop up, just pop up on the ground. But no, every time like they die and come back, they at least use it in some way. Whether it be like Kevin Hart gets trampled by rhinos and he falls in and they have to then turn the helicopter to grab him. Or the ending bit. I don't want to give it away, but like right. the ending bit. Like, I do like how they use that to their advantage somewhat, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, what else can we say? It's pretty good. Even though, again, like I was saying, like, I believe this is probably the same world maybe 20 years later because there, because one thing that kind of puts me at odds with this is um, the hunter. The hunter, it, when he, in the original Jumanji, goes to the gun shop and finds all those modern guns. And they have all those modern guns in Jumanji already. Yeah, they did have a lot of modern stuff. It was like a mix. That guy's revolver. Yeah, it was like a mix between modern and like, like this is how I feel like maybe Africa, like maybe like Africa is pr well. <laughs> oh, this is like Af that's like Africa, ain't it? Jumanji. Um, it's probably the Amazon. Amazon, whatever. I feel like this Amazon's probably Amazon's like South America. Yeah, true. I, I feel like that's probably how it probably is. Like it's some places, like in the village, or like probably like the it's, town or whatever. Yeah, like, like there's like, probably like the people who actually live there, and then there's probably like people from out out, out who like, like dress right. kind of regularly. Like there was a guy in a suit with one point. It's there's a really a suit. Yeah, you didn't see it. There's like dude like in a suit talking with somebody like oh no no no, and like what the fudge? I'm like okay, yeah. So like I feel like that's probably how it kind of is. Mm -hmm. Like when you ever see like um I'm gonna bring up Africa. Like when they show like uh African warlords and stuff like that. Uh -huh. And they show like the guy, like he's sitting there with like his military getup and like the machine gun. That's kind of what it looked like, like a mix between that and like just South America kind of stuff. Uh -huh. That's what it kind of looked like to me. Which I, you guys think pretty cool. I, I would believe this is that world in the future, or maybe like the hunter went back in time, back to there. He's like, I'm gonna make a killing making these kind of guns, <laughs> and he just makes all those guns. Studied the gun, I'll freaking know. But uh. Yeah, the movie was cool. I like. I liked it. I did like it. You liked it. Was it. it was adventure. It was adventurous. It was like, a fun adventure the game. Action and comedy was like you know. I, this had more like like jokes for like the older people too, more than like let's say uh you never seen um Journey two. Um, to center of the earth. Yeah, Journey. Yeah, Journey to center of Earth two. Oh, with the Rock. Yeah, I've seen bits and pieces of it. Yeah, like that one, I think was more kid like. This one has like those bigger jokes because again, like that one kind of like Jumanji in it. A little bit, yeah. I think that's probably why The Rock was cast in this a little bit. You think the same people made it? It wouldn't surprise me. 
But it, three Jumanji. And the thing is, technically, technically, this is the third Jumanji movie. There's the Robin Williams one. There's the Thora, and then there's this. Even though technically Zathura isn't considered um, Jumanji sequel, the books are. And you know the kid who's in Zathura plays the kid in Journey in both movies. Really? One of the kids, yeah. Holy crap, like it is. Kid. That is him, isn't it? <laughs> Holy crap. Boosh, you just saw it right here yeah. live. <laughs> That's freaking true. Oh, yeah. But in any case, thank you guys for watching. I've done the links are on my Facebook. are on there somewhere. And we will. See you later. Bye, Alan.